Hey, what's up guys? No Scrubs Guy here. And today is the first in a brand new series of mine. Which is going to be... Basically, I've created this super flat world here. I'm starting to uh, build some roads. And all I'm going to do is really... I'm going to build a big city, big big town on the super flat world. And hopefully give you guys some kind of inspiration. For some of your builds, maybe in the future, if you're doing this, or just to uh, entertain you for a while, really. So this is probably going to be quite a long, uh, long project. Probably not going to be like every time, every episode, every week. But, I mean, it will be quite a frequent update, and yeah, most builds will now go in here. I'm going to eventually build a big city, and then hopefully, I'll put it as a map download. And I'll first off, if you're wondering. How I got these lines here on the road, it's a mod. It's, a, it's called the Roads Mod, Roadworks and Lamps and Traffic Lights. Just I added it just to make my city more interesting, really. So I can get lampposts and signs and stuff. I can paint the roads. So I thought I'd put that to make my uh, roads and stuff seem more, a bit more detailed, a bit more interest. So for our first build, we're going to be doing this. This house I, I made, it's like a... Um, it's basically like a barn conversion, really, if you think about it. Here was the barn, and then you just extend it down the roof, change the front, and added a garage. That's simple, and it's, it's really nice. I think it's quite a nice little build. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, and we're going to start right here. Yeah, here. So we're going to go here with some using quart block of quartz, and go across by... Seven, and then across by five, and then that's seven again. So you got this. Okay, yep, and uh, that's five. One, two, three, four, five. Just checking. So we've got our garage, and then we could just grab some cobble. We'll grab some quick cobble. And what we'll do is we'll make the floor. So from the road, so this could be the little driveway area into your garage, anywhere your cars park up or whatever. It's up to you, really. What we're then going to do, we're then going to take it up by three and just completely fill this wall in here. I'm going to put a door in there later. So I'm just going to fill the walls up by three in here. So we go in two, we go in one. No, sorry, we only go in one on that side and go in by three there. We're only going to get some glass panes. So I think they add just a bit more detail than standard glass. I think they look a bit tad nicer. And place them, place them there like a window. I'm gonna go around the front and place three stairs there, three stairs there, and three stairs on top. So you got this nice garage door design going here. So what we're gonna do? We're then gonna get some block of quartz. I'm gonna go back, not the front one, but the second one. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two. So go in by three and across by five. Then we'll have a gap of two, so one, two. And on the third, place three again and one, two, three, four, five, like that. Just trying to get that going there. And then we move diagonally one across here and add two across like that. Just like that. So I'm going to grab, going to grab some standard wool, or any really wood wool colour you want. I thought this worked best, to be honest. What you're going to, what you're going to do is you're going to go along from here and fill that in there, and do the same here. So it's just behind this here. And you get quartz. Place them at the end there. And across like so. We have our doorway now. And then we're gonna mirror 
the bottom layer again. So you mirrored that, and I got this lip going with this different color on the inside. I went for a color that's kind of similar to the quartz, but not a hundred percent too similar. If you get what I mean? If you catch my drift. You can go with any color you want, like bright blue. But I thought this one blended quite well. So then we're gonna go and uh, mirror up to there. But what we're actually gonna do for the actual thing is we're gonna remove that one there. But for now, we'll keep it on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some quartz stairs and at the entrance, place them upside down. Just grab some doors and place that now and, and place some doors in there like that. Put some nice old doors down this door. Okay, so, um, yeah, moving on around, we'll grab some more block of quartz, and from here, you're going to want to go, including this one, we're going to want to cross by 15. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, there's 12, 13, 14, 15. You're then going to go across, including this one, by 11. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we need to go across again by another 11. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then just fill that gap in there. The gap, if you should, counts 1, 2, 3. So overall, that wall now counts as 9 long. So yeah, as you can see, we've now got our plan of our house going, so I'll pause it there real quick so you can uh, just catch up if you're slightly behind. Okay. Alright, so then in here, I'm going to come across and bring this whole wall in across here, like this. This is a big flat wall, and we're going to use this room for storage. And also, I'm going to put a doorway to the garage. Put our doorway in there. And then fill up this wall with a block of quartz. Like so. Alright. So then, along this layer here, the 15 along we did, the big long wall, I'm going to place some brick. Oh, brick stairs all the way along. So we get these, it's quite nice. It's start, uh, nice things starting to develop. It's a nice long wall, big wall. Big wall, big roof starting to develop. Okay, and then you need to go one across on the edge, and then on the undersides, start placing these upside down stairs. And overall, you want to go up. I have the uh, already completed one here. So one, two, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to want to go up by six. That's what one, two, that's three, that's four, that's five, and that is six. All right, so we've gone up by six. And we'll do the same on the other side as well. Yep, so that's already up by one. And as I said earlier, we're going to remove this one. I'm placing an upside down stair there instead now. So that this one up here only goes across by one, two, three, four, not five. That's one, two. That's three. That's three. This is four. That's 
Hi. Okay, so that is six. Alright. So, so now as we've done that, we can spend our time filling this in here. Should only take a reasonably short amount of time. Nothing too difficult. Make it daytime again. There we go. As I was saying earlier, I have installed a couple of mods, they are compatible with Forge, well they were before, so I'll, I'll leave the links in the description to the mod pages where I downloaded them both from, as well as as well as well a link to the Forge page so you can get all the Forge downloads if you want to install it. I think it just adds quite a nice little bit of finer detail into, uh, into Minecraft, but it's really up to you if you're going to do something like this, project like this. Okay, yep, so layer 6 now, right at the top. Okay, right. There we go. So now what we're going to do is create some brick slabs, or four bricks. I'm using brick slabs to fill in the whole thing. I'm going to fill it in the whole way up, so all the way along. I'm going to fill that up with bricks. Because that is the top, the highest, highest. I'm going to get some brick stairs and just place them upside down, facing out like that. On the edges, just add a little bit more detail. Nicen up the thing. Okay, so let's quickly grab some block of quartz again. I'm going to go into our, our walls in here. First off, I'm going to go in here and just place some quartz in there. Like that, forgot about that. Because I let me just check, I think I made a mistake about the upside down just nope. Just didn't fill that in with quartz. Oh my gosh. Alright, anyway. So we're going to go across from inside to and go one, two, three. One, two, one. So you fold that up along three up by one, very simple. Then place we have a gap going up by three. We have another gap goes up by three. Three, and then we have another gap. So it goes up by three and just fill in the top there. So you get these windows, they're too high. Now I'm going to fill them in with some glass panes. Just to, just to, I'm using glass panes instead of just glass, just to break up the image of, of one completely flat wall in front of you. At least it gives a bit of an indent in, if you see what I mean. Right, so then here, what we're going to do again is we're going to miss out this second layer. Just go straight up to here and place that all along there. So we've got this gap going now. What we're going to do is we're going to get some normal glass. I'm um, just going to go in here and place that along there. And we're then just going to fill this up with block of quartz or quartz blocks this gives a nice impression like that we've got that window there which I think is quite nice ok so then I'm going to grab back our stairs I'm going to go to the ends again and then we're going to start coming back down again until we hit the bottom, like so. Sun's a little in our eyes there, but you know what? We'll have to cope with it. Okay. 
Okay, yep. Yeah. So we've done that, we'll go back down to the other side. And we'll do the same thing. And one more there. Yep, simple. Then just fill it in again. And then just breach the gap across there. Then just get a block of quartz here and fill that in there. So just fill that bit in there. So what we're gonna do is then gonna just fill this whole layer bit up here in like that. Like that. Yeah, yeah, we'll fill we'll fill this bit in. Cause we're going to put some in there because it gets quite dark in here even though there are quite a few windows so once that's completed grab some glass and then just fill it in behind here fill that in like so oh. I don't know what's happening right now oh great Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about that slight issue. My Minecraft crashed. But we're back, so it doesn't matter. So, we were here. We filled that in with glass. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue it on. Continue on the roof. Bring that across. Bring this across. And then finally bring this roof across. So our main building's roofs are completed. Which is nice, you know. So there we have it, our main building so far. We still have this to fill in our garage. So then along here, along this side, and go out where one is again, place the old garage roof on. Gonna go up like that and that. And then go the other side and on here. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I'm just getting lost in my thought process there. Don't do that. I'm just going to leave it like that. So it gives a bit more of a different feel. A bit of a nicer, more modernistic. Modernistic? It's not even a word. A bit more of a different different look, to be honest. I completely forgot I was meant to be talking for a second then. Oh, well. Uh, it's been quite a long episode. It will soon be drawn to a close. Don't you worry. Okay, and then across on the other side as well. And then of course fill this bit in here. 
And if you want, add that little extra bit of detail to the build. Maybe even brick slabs on top. You know, brick layer, brick slab on top as well. Like that. One final thing to do is grab some quartz and above here just fill it in and go back here and fill that in. Now, for the benefit of you, oh, we forgot this bit. Let's just grab some slabs and completely fill that in there, like so. And then one last point from me. I'm gonna want to go in here and want to grab some glowstone, and then just place glowstone on this wall in some sort of pattern, along with some quartz in there as well. That's just to make the room a lot lighter. Now, for the benefit of you, I'm gonna forget about that back wall. This back corner, sorry to do this, just fill that in with glass as well at the front one. Now for the benefit of you, I'm going to let you decorate the interior of your choice. You know, I'll show you what I've done for the basics of the other house, but I haven't really done much about it. I can't get out the door. So, yeah, you can fill in with what you want on the interior. On this house here. Got the same kind of wall. I filled it in with birch wood on the floor and a massive oak wood staircase going up to where I built a second floor. And it's pretty small but pretty nice and plain. I haven't really decorated it yet, I will do soon. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully that'll give you some sort of idea of what you can do. And of course, we forgot to put the entrance to the front door. Let's put some cobblestone down. So yeah, and I'll do that under the door layer or something. So um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Hope you build one your own, build one yourself. I'll link a description the the mod I've used for the roads and the mod for the signs I'll be using, and I'll link uh, the texture pack and stuff. So thank you. Well, all I can really say is I've been the No Scrubs guy, and thank you for watching.